What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about fractional silver rounds and bars. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. Link will be in the description. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And do not forget 15% off of everything for today and tomorrow only. The discount code can be found on my Instagram page, which will also be linked in the description. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about Something that I do not talk a whole lot about on this channel, fractional silver rounds and bars. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because I recently put out a video talking about fractional silver coins, often referred to as 90% silver, junk silver, constitutional silver, silver dimes, quarters, half dollars, stuff like that. Those are... If you think about it, fractional silver coins, because silver dimes are 1 14th of an ounce, silver quarters are 1 6th of an ounce, and silver half dollars are 1 3rd of an ounce. But I don't talk a whole lot about silver rounds or silver bars, and the reason for this is because I have never in my life converted my dollars into fractional silver rounds or bars. And the reason for this is because typically they carry an unbelievably high premium. If you do the math and take a one-tenth of an ounce silver round and multiply it by 10, that way you get a full troy ounce of silver when you add all 10 together, you'd be paying pretty much or pretty close to twice as much as you would be paying for just picking up a one ounce piece of silver. Round, a bar, a coin, doesn't matter. Right now, with the spot price being 15, 16 bucks, premiums are a little bit high at the moment, but usually we've been used to one, two, maybe three dollars over spot per ounce of silver. So you'd be able to pick up an ounce of silver for less than $20. But if you were picking up 10 one tenth ounce silver rounds or bars, you'd be looking at probably somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks. So that's not something that I'm personally interested in. And silver, in my opinion, is dirt cheap. Spot price is not even $20, which means it's not that hard to get your hands on. With a $20 bill, you can convert into at least an ounce of silver. There's really no need to look for half an ounce of silver. However, I will say this, even though I have never personally converted my dollars into fractional silver bars or rounds, I was given a small pouch of silver bars, fractional silver bars, I believe they were one gram each. I'm pretty sure I got 10 of them, so 10 grams of silver. I was given as a gift from a family member. And I thought it was really cool. I had never in my life seen pieces of silver that small before. And it was actually pretty cool. It was really unique, really interesting. It's definitely not something that I've ever had my hands on before. So I thought it was really cool. And I asked him, just out of curiosity, if he paid high over spot for it. And talked to him about the price and... It was a little bit on the pricey side, but it wasn't really all that bad, surprisingly. But another reason I do not go after fractional silver rounds or bars is because even when silver is not fractional, I really don't go for a whole lot of rounds or bars. If I'm going to go for a bar, it's only going to be because I want a piece of silver larger than an ounce. I'll go for maybe a five, even though I'm not that big of a fan of five ounces anymore. I like those 10 ounce silver sunshine bars. In my opinion, that's where it's at. That's my favorite, that's my preference. But typically, I go for silver 
in one ounce increments. And when it comes to one ounce silver pieces, I don't really go for the rounds of the bars. I go for the coins. I just prefer the higher level of notoriety being far more recognizable. Silver rounds, unfortunately, aren't very recognizable, unless of course it's maybe the silver buffalo or another popular design. But here's the thing, when I order silver rounds, or when I used to, I should say, about two years ago, when I was ordering silver rounds all the time, I would get random designs. I would never know what I was going to get. Sometimes I would get a silver round that kind of resembled a Morgan dollar. Sometimes I would get one with just this cool eagle design on it, or sometimes I would get a Santa Claus round, or sometimes I would get something with a wrestler on it or a different kind of bird on it or some type of car on it. They were all random designs. I had never seen them before. I had never heard of them before. I searched them up on different sites and I couldn't even find half of them. So these are all privately minted. These are all basic generic secondary market pieces of silver. And typically that's what the fractional silver rounds and bars are as well. You don't really know what you're gonna get. I guess you could specifically order a very specific type of design, but then you'd be paying a little bit higher of a premium on top of the high premium. So I'm personally just not big of a fan of fractional silver, and it's not even just due to the fact of the high premiums. It's mostly due to the fact that I just prefer one ounce pieces of silver. Silver is dirt cheap right now, in my opinion and from my perspective. I'm not a financial advisor, obviously, so nothing on this channel is financial advice. However, $20 being converted into an ounce of silver? Nothing really to worry about. Gold, on the other hand, is a little bit different because if you want an ounce of gold, you're looking at over $1,500, over $1,600, and I think right now over $1,700. So gold is pretty expensive. Gold is out of reach for most people. Most people do not have $1,700 lying around that they're willing to convert into one piece of metal. Most of us, myself and many of my viewers included, and I can say this because I've been told by many people in the comments, if they had enough fiat currency paper dollars to convert into one ounce of gold, they would prefer to just get a bunch of silver instead. Rather than packing all that fiat into one piece of metal, they'd rather spread it out and have all that fiat packed into a bunch of pieces of metal. But it's all personal preference at the end of the day. I do know someone who has 10th ounce silver rounds. He's somebody that I plan on having on for one of my podcast episodes, so keep an eye out for that sometime in the near future. Once this whole lockdown is over, I'll have him show off maybe some of his fractional silver as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. Link will be in the description. I'm trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated do not forget everybody gets 15 percent off of everything for the rest of today and all day tomorrow and after that the sale is over the sale is done so get that discount while you can the promo code can be found on my instagram page which will obviously also be linked in the description thank you in advance it's more than appreciated and i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on fractional silver Aside from the high premiums, everyone likes to talk about premiums, premium, premium, premium. We know that fractional silver has high premiums, but what are your thoughts on fractional silver if the premiums were exactly the same? If you could pick up 10 one tenth ounce silver rounds or bars, is that what you would do? Or would you prefer to stick with 
silver in one ounce increments and maybe some 90% junk constitutional silver. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.